Hello YouTubers. I know I've been procrastinating on the video here. Uh, one or, well, family reasons and stuff like that, but also because, well, local people also watch me, so I have to watch what I say. <laughs> um, well, one thing we went uh, to to my parents' house a while back, and uh, I saw my, well, my parents. I asked them a question about uh, something related to the Amish, and uh, they ended up telling me about uh, Paul Edwards' ex-wife uh, in uh, in the 2020 video. Is uh, she left the uh, Swords and Troopers and went to uh, to another Amish group? Now I'm not sure what group that is that she went to, but I um, hope it's a better one than than Sword and Trooper anyway. Um, so they so they are the kids are interacting with their mom again, and. Um, well, for one thing, she she left after her her um, husband, uh, her her father had passed away, because he was the one that uh, was stopping her from uh, from going to court and stuff like that, and which uh, ended up causing her to lose her kids in the first place. Anyway, so now the little kids are seeing their mother again um, and another thing I wanted to um, one night recently we went up by accident went down the wrong way went up, so I went all the way up to um, West Salem and up to the area where I grew up and it was uh, it was the moon was out and it was kind of like a moonlit uh, trip just down my memory lane, I guess. And it was it was fun uh, remembering some of the stuff when I was growing up, which is good for well, I'm writing my book. Um, and another thing I wanted to tell you about is uh, about this book called Abandoned Prayers, which you can get at uh, abandonedprayers.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, it's by Greg Olson. It's um, about this story about uh, a former Amish guy, um, Elias Dutzman, who uh, allegedly got insurance on his farm, or his barn, and then uh, the night that uh, he burnt down his uh, barn, he allegedly killed his wife, drug her across the street into the ditch without a hair. Um, and uh, later on, he uh, was taking his um, son somewhere, he was going through Nebraska, and he allegedly killed him left him in a blue chump suit out in the ne Nebraska field somewhere and <coughs> he uh, at first they didn't know who it was and they put it in the Reader's Digest that about this baby being found out and was well he was like I'm not sure how, probably about six years old or so and <coughs> found it out in the field on Christmas day or Christmas or New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve or something like that so they called him Emmanuel or gift from God and um 
but it had it in the in the Reader's Digest called it uh, Little Boy Blue. Well, Little Boy Blue was uh, then tried back to being Danny's uh, son because of the Reader's Digest article. <clears throat> well, um, he he never was charged with murdering his son, but he was charged with abandoning the body there in the middle of nowhere. And um, then later he was also charged and convicted of um, killing uh, his uh, roommate. Yeah, he was a gay guy, so it was just a gay roommate. Anyway, um, he um, last year he ended up killing himself, uh, committed suicide. But uh, <clears throat> one thing that uh, my mom used to tell me is um, is that uh, this guy. I'm not naming names, but uh, it's one guy that's around this area. He has a um, property on Southbury Road, not too far from here, that uh, is uh, being leased from by the um, Hyphenix Corp, uh, Pete Moss Company. And he um, makes money on that, but my mom used to tell me about this guy would go to bed. Well, I, he was actually one of the first guys on the scene when uh, at the barn fire and and murder of uh, of um, Mrs. Stutzman. But uh, he used to uh, sleep with his got underneath his pillow and uh, would chum up and go outside when his when adult barked. And uh, then after that he uh, he uh, left the church, still stayed with his family, there were some Amish and everything. He was still part of it, but he left his membership in the church. and. Uh, but he uh, ended up, uh, well, he would tell his family that uh, that they would, they need to join, but it was too late for him. However, after Eli Stutzman committed suicide, this guy now is a member of the church. <laughs> I don't know. But some people, I don't know if he has any connection to it or not, but um, it could be.